Let's begin with the surface features of the liver. This is the anterior view of the liver, and this is the posterior view. When one looks at the liver, as you see it on cross-sectional imaging such as CT and MRI, you can see that the lumen of the inferior vena cava is within your view. There is variation in how much the liver actually wraps around the inferior vena cava, or IVC. Sometimes the liver doesn't wrap around the vena cava, and sometimes it partially wraps around, and rarely the liver actually wraps all the way around the IVC. There is a vascular ligamentous structure that encircles the IVC when the liver does not completely wrap around it. This is referred to as the caudate ligament or the caval ligament. From a surgical techniques point of view, this ligament is divided first in order to enable exposure and control of the right hepatic vein outside the liver. This is a cephalad view of the liver, depicting the IVC as it emerges from the liver and traverses the diaphragm toward the heart. Holding the liver to the diaphragm are the coronary ligaments. These are actually peritoneal reflections, which include the left coronary ligament and the right coronary ligament. The nomenclature for they internal liver and anterior layer includes and sectors, a posterior layer, sections, and these and two segments. layers actually converge the on each side of the liver the terminology to form the right uses triangular the term ligament section. and the left In this tutorial, ligament. however, this nomenclature system will be reviewed, but we will also introduce a slightly modified clinically applicable system that does not use the term section. The hepatic veins function to drain the blood from the liver to the IVC. The main veins include the right hepatic vein, middle hepatic vein, and left hepatic vein. According to Brisbane 2000 terminology, the hepatic veins function to divide the liver into sectors. The right hepatic vein separates the right posterior sector from the right anterior sector. The liver parenchyma that lies posterior to the right hepatic vein comprises the right posterior sector in both the Brisbane and the modified nomenclature system that we are teaching here. The right anterior sector is the liver parenchyma that lies between the right hepatic vein and the middle hepatic vein. The definition of this right anterior sector is actually consistent between both the Brisbane and the modified nomenclature systems. The middle hepatic vein separates the right hemiliver from the left hemiliver and runs along the course of Conley's line. According to Brisbane 2000 terminology, the left medial sector is comprised of the liver parenchyma that is situated between the middle hepatic vein and the left hepatic vein. This area of liver includes the umbilical fissure, where, as we discussed before, is where the left portal vein runs. And thus, a surgical resection of this area specifically is not possible without removing the entire left hemiliver. Thus, the left medial sector from now on will refer to the area of liver between the middle hepatic vein and the falciform ligament. This area is termed the left medial section by Brisbane 2000 terminology, but we will refer to it as the left medial sector under the modified nomenclature system. According to Brisbane 2000 terminology, the parenchyma that lies superior and posterior to the left hepatic vein is termed the left lateral sector. Using the modified system, the left lateral sector actually refers to all the parenchyma that is left of the falciform ligament, which is termed the left lateral section by Brisbane 2000 terminology. The main difference between the two naming conventions is that Brisbane terminology uses the left hepatic vein to divide the left liver into sectors, whereas under the modified nomenclature system, we are using the falciform ligament to divide up the left liver, which we find more clinically useful. In addition to sectors, the liver is further divided into eight segments of quinoa. 
the segmental anatomy of the liver is dictated by the portal venous inflow. Each of the branches of the portal vein is accompanied by an artery and a bile duct, and thus each one is referred to as a pedicle. Of note, in the porta hepatis, there can be substantial variation in these structures as well, and careful attention to preoperative imaging is paramount prior to an operation. Most commonly, the right hepatic artery travels posterior to the common bile duct as depicted. However, in approximately 20% of the time, it can actually travel anterior to the bile duct. The main portal vein branches into a right and left portal vein. The right portal vein branches into a right posterior portal vein and a right anterior portal vein. Along with the portal venous branches, there is also an artery and a bile duct. These three structures are contained within a single sheath and thus are referred to as the right posterior pedicle and the right anterior pedicle. The right posterior pedicle supplies the right posterior sector. The right posterior sector includes segments 6 and 7. The right posterior pedicle has two main branches that supply each of these segments. When viewing a cross-sectional image, the segments can be differentiated by the level of the portal vein bifurcation. The parenchyma that is cephalad to the level of the portal vein bifurcation is termed segment 7, and the area of the liver that is caudal to this bifurcation is segment 6. The right anterior pedicle supplies the right anterior sector. The right anterior sector includes segments 5 and segment 8. Similar to what we discussed for the right posterior sector, the parenchyma that is cephalad to the level of the portal vein bifurcation is termed segment 8, and the area that is caudate is termed segment 5. Caudate Segment 1. The caudate lobe exists from the most caudal portion of the liver and extends in a cephalad direction. As the most superior aspect of the liver is reached, which is near the confluence of the hepatic veins, the caudate lobe ends. In the actual liver, there is really no distinct boundary or landmark for this, but note the close proximity of the middle hepatic vein to the caudate lobe at the cephalad aspect of the liver. The caudate is referred to as segment 1. This area refers to the portion of liver parenchyma that is situated in between the portal vein and the IVC in an anterior and posterior dimension. The area that is directly anterior and left of the IVC is termed the caudate lobe, and the area that is right of the IVC is termed the caudate process. This caudate process fuses with the right posterior sector. The venous drainage pattern is unique from other segments in that the caudate has short veins that directly drain into the IVC. The number and size of these veins, however, is variable. The caudate lobe is primarily supplied by small branches directly coming from the left portal vein. The caudate process is primarily supplied by small branches coming from the right portal vein. The arterial inflow and biliary drainage of both the caudate lobe and process maintain the same pattern as the portal system.